Oh, we have burned up some candles. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here, and today we are doing the weekly candle post burn review. As always, everyone's favorite video of the week. We have six candles, as always. We have a mix of brands. Yes, it's two brands this week, mainly. Yes, it is two brands this week, Homeworks and Bath and Body Works. So that's what you're going to see, and I'm pretty excited about it, as well as I have an extra fun little thing to share with you all as well in this here video. But before we get into that tea, elves, you know what we must do first. Lipstick of the day, everyone. We are having Barbie Girl in a Barbie world. I am enjoying Mama Pat these days. This is from the house of Pat McGrath, and this is Polaroid Pink. This is like the newest pink color to my collection and yeah i'm digging her she'll be in the description box as always next up we have a fragrance of the day this is the newest addition to my collection i talked about it in my july haul video fragrances that i picked up and this is the original valentino donna honey get into her the og the one that started it all mm. She is classy, she is elegant, she is Donna. <laughs> oh, and by the way, you all, I have a sneak peek for you all for some more fall candles. Diamond Candles, whom I've talked about on the channel, they were so gracious enough to send over some of their fall preview candles. And the good thing is these candles literally just launched as of August 1st, so they are available. Super excited. I've been sitting on these, but I always like to show them in the weekly candle post burn review. The two candles they sent me were the pumpkin cupcake candle, which I am pleased to tell you literally smells like a pumpkin cupcake. Like I smell the bakery dough in here. Oh yeah, this smells really, really good. And I can't wait to burn these. So super exciting. It's a single wick candle, but yeah pumpkin cupcake and the wax color is dope as well now the second candle they sent y'all i'm gonna tell you this one is a beast and this one is my favorite of the two the second candle they sent me i'm gonna take my little plastic off later this is the pumpkin espresso honey pumpkin spice latte is cute but pumpkin espresso she's giving all the life she's giving what we really need let me tell you you smell the coffee bean in here. It's deep, rich, how espresso is. This is fantastic. Thank you again, Diamond Candles. And as always, y'all, they sent me a lovely handwritten note. Has my name on it. Y'all know I keep my cards private, but they're always so sweet. I love them. I do have a code with Diamond Candles, as you know, Santa Maria 10, which I do have at the bottom for you all. So if you are interested in checking them out, yeah, feel free to do so. So now let's get into the weekly candle post burn reviews. The first candle we're going to do, this is one of the special hobnail candles from Homeworks. I have to hold this thing with both hands because yeah, it is serious. This is the candle that I got. This was from like the end of spring going into summer hobnail special collection they did on homeworks.shop. As you all know, I am an ambassador for homeworks. So these, this candle was gifted to me. The candle note, the candle that we're talking about is raspberry linzer cookie, which I had no expectations of what a raspberry linzer cookie would smell like. So yeah, the notes were fresh raspberry, almond cream, brown sugar, and baked cookie. When it comes to post bond reviews, you all know I rate candles by three categories. The first one is burn experience. So let's talk about burn experience with this candle. This one did phenomenal, very even, very beautiful, very amazing. I have no complaints. Next category is always with candles is throw and that is on a scale of one to 10. And let me tell you something. This candle surprised me. On cold, it was not giving. You all remember when I first hauled it, I was kind of like, uh, mm, I don't know, I'm gonna have to burn it. And this is why I stand by the fact that you must burn candles. This is why I do post burn reviews because this candle was a certified 10 when burning. On cold, it was maybe a three or four, but burning, 10. Loud, it smelled like straight up cookie, all of that. I truly got the notes of fresh raspberry, almond cream, brown sugar, and baked cookie. The almond cream, the brown sugar, the cookie note, the cookie note. That is what came out more than anything in this candle and I'm super impressed. It did give what it needed to give as a special edition candle, it did. And the other one I reviewed the week prior, which was the caramel popcorn. Both of these were powerhouse candles, so I was highly impressed with the Hobnail collection and I do think they are worth the money. Fabulous. Again, this is the Homeworks Raspberry Linzer Cookie Candle. Yeah, we like it. 
out. I didn't answer the last question when it comes to candles. Would I repurchase it again? And that is absolutely yes. I do think this one is absolutely worth a repurchase for sure. The next candle we have is from Homeworks and this is the, oh, I remember finding this one. This one calls a stir in the candle community. This is Homeworks version of watermelon lemonade. Yes, normally I'm not a watermelon lemonade person, but I had to pick this up. The notes in watermelon lemonade are sugared watermelon, fresh squeezed lemon, mandarin orange, and raspberry. So this was extremely fruity, very summery, and that's when I absolutely burned it and I loved it. So burn experience, Flawless Victory did its thing. It did start to tunnel at the end and I was like, okay now, you was doing so well, what's going on? So I can't give it a full on Flawless Victory. It did enough because it started to act up right at the end. Now throw on a scale of one to 10, this one did well. The throw on this one was about a seven. Very pleasant, very nice. Not so much lemony and citrusy that it got on my nerves, but it was a pleasant. It was sweet watermelon lemonade and I was here for it. Would I repurchase this candle again? This normally isn't my type of scent profile, so my opinion still does stand. No, I would not purchase this again, but I did enjoy this candle for what it was. It did exactly what it said it was gonna do, watermelon lemonade. Totally got the vibe, I was here for it. The next candle we're gonna talk about, this is from Bath and Body Works, and this is Paradise Cove. So the notes in Paradise Cove were seaside sandalwood, eucalyptus leaves, sweet orange zest. Yeah, this was a woody, fresh, oceany type of candle. So let's get to the burn experience. Beautiful, check that out. I have no complaints whatsoever with this but lovely three wick right here. I will say um, this one was a very cologne type of scent. It was very masculine. It was more masculine than it let on. On cold, it smelled more like, oh, unisex, kind of oceany. But as you let it burn, oh, we got real masculine and cologne. I gotta say that about Paradise Cove. Throw on a scale of one to 10, throw on this one was definitely an eight. So it was right there into powerhouse territory for sure. Cause again, it turned very cologne. And cologne scents are normally pretty strong for Bath and Body Works. For that reason, would I repurchase this candle again? It went so cologne that no, I don't need it again. It kind of deceived me. I was a little bit mad at it. I was kind of like, Ugh, this is making my bedroom smell like a man cave. I don't like this. So Paradise Cove is a no on the repurchase for me because it deceived me. Absolutely not, I don't like it. The next candle we have is from Bath and Body Works and this is Beach Weather. Yes, Beach Weather. The notes in Beach Weather were sun-dried sandalwood, island coconut, breezy palm trees, and crashing waves. It's truly a beachy candle. Burn experience, very nice. No issues to report. We like that. Throw on a scale of one to 10. This one was a pleasant, it was about a seven. So it was definitely in the room. Did it knock me off my feet? No, but it did just what it needed to do. So I give it a seven. Now would I repurchase beach weather again? This really did give me, like I'm sitting out, laying out and just enjoying the beach waves when the sun isn't necessarily shining on me, but I'm still getting all the smells. That's what this was giving me. So I do like beach weather and I would repurchase it again. So yes, I would repurchase this candle again. The next candle we're gonna talk about, this one I have repurchased this multiple times, so you already know where we're going here. This is Mahogany Vanilla, one of the best releases of the end of 2021. It came out for Candle Day and look that they brought it back out for summer 2022. The notes for Mahogany Vanilla are warm vanilla, fresh bergamot, and sweet sandalwood. Hmm, very nice. Okay, now this one, this buying experience, this was dirty. It was a suity bomb. Look at all that suit. Look how dirty it got. So yeah, I had to monitor you because when you started to really throw up a whole bunch of suit, I had to blow you out. So I didn't like that. Throw on a scale of one to 10. Filled the whole room. This was a nine. Lovely scent, beautiful scent, but God, it was suited this candle. Would I repurchase this candle again? Yes for the scent, but this edition, no, I would not. I'm so glad I only bought one because this is a suity hot mess. So, but overall for the mahogany vanilla scent, yes, I would repurchase. And the last candle we're gonna talk about, it has really been through some things, so I apologize for its appearance. But this is Black Cherry Merlot. <laughs> uh, life kind of happened to my Black Cherry Merlot. The notes on this single wick candle from Bath and Body Works are dark cherry, black raspberry, and then Merlot. This is one of my favorite core candles at Bath and Body Works of all time, especially in the fall. I will be purchasing some for the house. And I definitely have to get some for Head F because he enjoys Black Cherry Merlot as well. He is a red wine drinker. That is his thing. So 
yeah we gotta have some of this candle but anywho let's get into a uh, burn experience it was cool this one took its time burning this one took forever to burn down so i almost don't even want to show it because it looks so bad but it was a good burn experience no issues to complain about now throw on a scale of one to ten true black cherry merlot fashion this was about an 8.5 so very nice this was used as a lovely evening bubble bath scent it was amazing and very relaxing would i repurchase black cherry merlot again yes and but i need it in a three week though that's the only thing i don't have it in a three week in my collection currently and seeing the single wig makes me remember i need to get it back in my collection i need black cherry merlot in my life again because it's a staple yeah, so all right, elves, that wraps up this edition of Weekly Candle Post Burn Reviews. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you have finished burning. Also, are you still burning summer candles or have you switched over to your fall scents? I want to know. Please talk to me. Because that is such a huge debate right now. Some people are ready for it. Some people are like, yes, give me fall. People buying Halloween. People talking about holiday. I'm overwhelmed. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments below. Talk to me else. As always, if you're digging me, subscribe to the channel. If you're here for the content, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not here for any of it, that is okay. I totally understand. But I still appreciate your view. Until next time, else, I will catch y'all next video. Bye, y'all.